What do we got up first? We're going to talk to Travis. Yeah, he uh, is. So let's see if we can queue up Travis. Hi, everyone. My name is Travis Quick, and I'm one of your applications engineers at Go Engineer. I just wanted to say thank you for joining us. I'm excited to show off some of our favorite content within the SolidWorks software. I was lucky enough to get first dibs, so these are some of my personal favorites. And we're going to cover one topic from each drawings, sketching, and assemblies. Automatic dimension placement has been in the software for quite some time. Uh, this is one of my favorites because I'm always on the lookout for easy automation tools to minimize the amount of busy work that I need to do. Now, my typical workflow when detailing a model is to reuse the dimensions added at the part and sketch levels uh, to define the geometry. Now, we insert model items, select the desired annotations, and we add the, to the entire model. However, this leaves me with just a jumbled mess of content that my inner OCD has to rearrange. So thankfully, there's a better way. Backing up a few steps, within the model items command, we can uncheck the option, use dimension placement in sketch. So this triggers SOLIDWORKS to place the dimensions using the document properties, greatly speeding up detailing times and leaving my OCD to focus on more important items. Automatic dimension placement has been around for quite some time, but Silhouette Entities was introduced just in the last couple of years and has some great potential. So one of the challenges that customers face when working with large assemblies is making simple drawings for a quote or bid. These proposal drawings usually just need a couple of simplified views with a few overall dimensions. But when working with layout drawings of several large top level assemblies, this can be a long and frustrating process. Silhouette Entities is a cool new feature that SOLIDWORKS, in SOLIDWORKS that uh, allows you to quickly accomplish this common task. First, we've created a new configuration uh, called detailing mode for this assembly. And our next step is to create a new sketch on our ground plane. We'll select silhouette entities found under convert entities. And finally, we simply select the components that define the footprint of our assembly, uh, such as our doors. We'll make sure to get both of our handles there. With our sketch complete, we can return to our assembly. And we're going to begin suppressing all of our unnecessary content. So we'll grab these items here. Looking good. I can't forget the placards. So with those items suppressed, we're now left with just a footprint of our original model. Using only a fraction of the resources of our original assembly, our sketch is added to our facility layout at lightning speeds. We can verify our assembly will fit within our open space on the shop floor. So for being such a simple tool to work with, this will save us a great deal of time and headaches when working on larger assemblies and facility layouts. For our last how-to, we're going to review the new addition to envelopes. Now, as we continue to work on complex sub-assemblies, uh, these become especially jumbled when our various sub-assemblies need to reference other components, uh, such as our telescoping arm getting mated to the head at the center of our water jet. Now, in the past, we would just set this arm to flexible uh, so that it could move within the assembly and accommodate those top-level mates. Flexible assemblies, however, require increased calculations and rebuild time. But with the envelope publisher, we can add these envelope components to the sub-assemblies. There's no effect to mass calculations or bomb management, and we also have the benefit of being faster and more stable. So we simply select the components needed for reference. We'll select our destination assembly, and then select Add to Group. Now, once the envelopes have been created, we can open up that same destination assembly to complete our tasks. We'll add reference geometry or simply mate directly to the 
to the envelope components. Ensuring that our design will fit perfectly at that top level assembly. So these are just a couple of tools that I hope will improve your workflow and capabilities within the SOLIDWORKS software. Thanks for watching. That was good stuff, Travis. Thanks.